Hey everyone, my name is Kyle. Welcome to One Hour Flight. This is One Hour Flight number nine. Um, if you remember in the previous video, we landed in Charlotte Douglas International Airport in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, feel free to take a look at it. It's in the playlist, down, it's in the playlist of One Hour Flight, and uh, that one had a uh, nice ending to it. Um, going to fly into the Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport in Washington, D.C. Um, I believe that would be it. A uh, very appropriate spot to uh, end this video at. Got a 42 minute flight plan, so it's probably going to take around an hour. That's perfect for this video series. And I do have flight conditions being high level clouds. I want to give that a shot. I do have low altitude airways on, and uh, we're going to get this one going here. So I know these intros take a while, and the load time takes a little bit. So uh, I'm going to hit the fly button and uh, get this one going for you. As it loads up, I ask you to please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think about the video in the comments down below. And if you'd like to end up watching uh, these videos happen live, link is in the description down below for my Twitch channel. And if you'd like to help contribute in other ways, there are links in the description as well. And uh, also, I am contemplating um, doing this. If you contribute to the channel in uh, one of those three ways, let me know that, uh, which way you did and uh, uh, with your uh, with your name. Um, and I Charlotte will be Tower, happy Airbus to Alpha, oh, Sierra X ray three two zero ready for IFR departure runway three six center. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero altimeter two nine -er, decimal nine -er, two wind two seven eight at six. Cleared for takeoff runway three six center. Okay, here we go. We're clear for takeoff. I'm gonna start the takeoff going off here, and then I'll uh, get, and I'll finish up my thought. Release the parking brake, and uh, we'll get to flying, and we'll. Get our way taking off from the du Charlotte Douglas International, head our way up to Washington, D.C. for your contribution and your support, and two, you know, like just to, you know, showcase that, you know, that I, um, you know, I do value you guys, uh, you guys' support, and, um, yeah, in all your ways that you guys actually do support this channel, whether it's uh, subscribing, which, you know, that's a very important one for me, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you find yourself coming back here on the regular watching these videos, why not hit that subscribe so you know when the videos are coming out, you get notified, and uh, so you support that way. It's a big way to show, show me that you guys are liking these videos. Uh, but yeah, my other way of showing, of showing support, and uh, so you guys you know that I do appreciate it, is uh, adding your names to the uh, end screen also. So uh, I'm 
thinking about doing that, let me know in the comments if you are interested in me doing that. I got no problem on uh, adding that to my videos. Alright, so we're climbing up to 13,000 feet. We're getting about to that area. at over speed, so I'm going to have to Airbus lower down that. Two zero climb and maintain flight level 210. 210, here we go. Climb and maintain flight level 210, Airbus 320. Alright, let's hit the throttle again, because we're going to have to climb more. Pretty sight seeing seeing that that the plane just off to the side there just flying there. It's, it's so cool seeing that. The overhead shot is just remarkable. It's so cool. Really cool. I really cannot get over the amount of detail this game has. Right, so we're reaching our Next waypoint, I can see the line right below the aircraft. Airbus 01 Golf, you are 300 feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain flight level 280. Well, that's not me, so I don't have to listen to it. I guess you like the comment section right now saying that you should probably listen to that because if there was, if there was actually was another aircraft out there, you might be running into it. And you don't want to do that in, in the air. And my response is, yeah, I, I do know that. I do know that. I should probably listen to that if this was like a real one. But I don't have like all of the aircrafts out here, uh, like 100% um, traffic. So that's what my reply is. That's why I don't want really to listen to a whole lot of the. Uh, air traffic control that isn't regarding my plane. Plus, I want to keep it casual and keep it simple, because we all know that I have a hard enough time flying this plane at times and also uh, landing it too, so the easiest thing is probably taking off. So, flying over um, North Carolina, um, I've only been to North Carolina one time in my life, and it was for a brief moment, so uh, don't really have two months to actually um, go by when it comes to this state. Wouldn't mind seeing it again um, for like a longer period of time. Also, uh, we're flying over West Virginia, which I have no, I mean not West Virginia, I'm sorry, Virginia. I know my geography. Um, for singing that, you know, that song there, but I'm not going to get copyright strike by, sing, by singing it. Um, Airbus 01 Golf contact Atlanta Center on 125 decimal 15. Good day. I um, have never been to Virginia, not a single time, have no idea how that state is or what it's like there. So if you are from either state or um, one, two, five, I visited, one, five, Airbus, zero, one, let me know. Let me know how it was. Let me know what's there in order to do. Because uh, eventually I do want to be able to see like all uh, 50 states. It would be a cool life goal to do. And uh, kind of you know like certain spots in order to be able to see if I uh, ever make it to... Uh, to these states. Also, you know, if you're watching, you know, from Airbus wherever, let me know. Uh, climb and maintain flight level 270. Climb and maintain flight level 270, Airbus 320. Are oh, they really making me go higher this time? Wait, I've hit 270 before, right? I think I have. We're gonna be right around the high level cloud area. Airbus 320, contact Atlanta Center on 128.8. Decimal Good day. Fred, right, let me know in the com in the uh, comments. 128.8 Decimal Eight Airbus 320. As I get in, Atlanta Center Airbus Alpha ABC Sierra X-ray 320 is passing flight level 215, climbing flight level 270. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 Atlanta Center, continue to Azul as planned. 
But yeah, let me know um, where you know where you're watching these videos from. You know, like what state or like what region you're you're um, watching these videos from. I wanted to be able to know uh, my audience. I want to be able to know who my audience is. You know, and uh, you know, just hope you guys are enjoying watching these uh, videos. I mean, like the response I've been getting so far, you guys have been have been enjoying them, and I I do appreciate the uh, the feedback. And let me know what you think about them, because. Uh, I do enjoy making these ones. I mean, just a casual one-hour flight, but I think it's really cool just to be able to see uh, certain areas of, like, so far in the United States, but eventually it will be international flights that I haven't seen that I do want to be able to see, or even certain areas that I may not even be able to see in real life, and it's about the closest I'm ever going to be able to get to seeing them. So, um, and I also hope that I provide you guys with some quality content, especially when it comes like to what I just said, you know, like, there are some areas that some people are never going to be able to see in real life. Like, they're never going to get to it. And this for me to be able to, like, just provide this. Like, I know, like, oh, hey, I can't, I mean, I can't really say you to this spot or anything, wherever this is. But it's the fact of being able to say, like, oh, hey, I did kind of see it. You know, like, I did, you know, like, got to see what, like, the terrain looks like. Or I got to see, like, what the, what the area is. I mean, like, if I can provide that for, you know, for you guys, for some viewers, I think it, I think it's well, like I said, pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be able to have this content available for you guys to watch. So we we're had a steep climb there for a moment, then we had to now now we're evening out. The whole lot of um, whole lot of country here. That's what it looks like. Got some city over there to the left. Got an airport right to the, uh, I don't know, right to the east of us? Well, kind of to the east. Yeah, I'd say to the east. Yeah, based on that compass. Yeah, we're pretty much going northeast anyway. We're going directly to the, to that airport, to uh, Reagan Airport. Like, even for instance, you know, like, me flying into, uh, Washington, D.C. I mean, I've never been there, and this may be the closest I get to, uh, to seeing it. I mean, it's our nation's capital, and I, well, my nation's capital, uh, but, um, I may not even ever, you know, make it there. I mean, I do want to make it there because I've said in a, another video, not in this video series, but being a, um, Here's a little background for you here. Well, we have 80, 80 plus nautical miles to go for this um, aircraft, for this um, waypoint. Um, I am a big um, hockey fan, a big National Hockey League fan, and I do want to be able to see like all of the NHL teams play in their home arenas. One of them is in Washington, D.C., so that's kind of going to be my excuse to be able to get out there to see the uh, Capitals play not my team. I mean, if that's, if that's your team, let me know in the comments. Um, also, let me know, you know what your um, team is, and um, I can even let you know if, I even, if I've gone to see them, too. Um, I do want to see them all play, but this right now is as close as I'm going to be able to get to uh, uh, getting to Washington, the uh, basin capital here. All right, let's get inside this, the, uh... Airbus 320 uh, contact Washington Center on 124.05. Good day. 124.05 Airbus 320. Washington Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 flight level 270. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 Washington Center continue as planned. Like, I get the, looking off to the left, it works just fine. Look out to the right, pretty good. I mean, like, there's not much to see besides the invisible co-pilot that I have. But when you look behind you, you look over your right shoulder, but the seat is on your right shoulder too. So, wouldn't the seat be, like, right here instead of here, if I'm looking over my right shoulder? Small little gripe. Small little gripe that I have, but I believe I have a good argument there. I mean, either make the make the seat on the other side of me when I'm looking over my right shoulder, or when I press the button to look back, make me go, make me like uh, look like here and then back. 
So then, then it looks like I'm actually looking with my left shoulder when I'm looking behind me, so that the seat is correctly placed, you know, like this. Eh, I'm literally just griping because I have 65 nautical miles before I get to this waypoint, so a whole lot of talking for a, for a little bit of a time waster, um, or you're probably just skipping over this and completely ignoring what I'm just saying, have no idea what I just said. Cool, fine by me, you know. And I don't get the whole looking up one. I don't get that one. Like, are, they, are these buttons I can click? No, there's nothing I can click here. So I don't get the whole looking up one. I don't get that. Washington Center, Cessna November, 42267, 8,400 feet. Cessna November, 42267, Washington Center, altimeter, 29 or decimal 9 or 2, continue as planned. Below us at the Rockingham Coast Coast Asylum. I hope I said that correctly. If not, oh well, fine. It, it is what it is. Yeah, not a whole lot going on out here. A whole lot of uh, countryside here. What's my VFR map looking like? If you ask me where the North Carolina Virginia line is, could not tell you. I couldn't even give you a guess. I, but if I did, because I have enough time, right here, right here. I want to say we're crossing over Virginia right now. Common sex is probably roasting me right now after I said that. They're probably like, no, it's not here. It's right here. Or you just passed it. That's what C that's what TSO is. That's where the that's where the line is, and I'd be like, I don't know where it is. I have no idea. All I know is that where I'm heading to and where I'm going to be flying over. That's that's what I know. I know the states I'm going to be flying over. That's all I. That's all I know. Washington Center, Cessna, November five seven two five X ray eight thousand nine hundred feet. Cessna, November five seven two five X ray Washington Center altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two continue as planned. Have you noticed I have a tendency of like pressing the button to look to the left of the aircraft rather than looking to the, to the uh, right of it all the time? I've noticed that. I press the uh, press that right key thinking that it's going to tilt the camera to look this way, but it always goes the other way. And I keep on trying to remind myself that's all inverted. Cessna 267, contact approach on 124 decimal tree 5. Good day. Yeah, we're still not there yet. So I really don't have to listen to a whole lot of ATC until I probably get past this uh, One, two, waypoint. 124 decimal tree, 5, Cessna 267. Yeah, well, let's take a look around here while I got the time, even though I still have no clue what half of these buttons are. Yeah, not even sure. I do know these keys go to this screen, but I have no idea. Um, how to interact with them and how to look at them. Um, if, if I can even, if I can even like look closer at this screen, like what? I don't know. I. Generic six one Lima contact Roanoke approach on one three five decimal zero. Good day. There's a whole lot of other buttons. I have no idea what what they do. Alright, I, I know where to spot, I know that. Zero generic, six, one, Lima. At least I kind of, you know, at least I know the basics, I guess, but, yeah, I don't really know all the complicated ones. The complex ones, I, I, uh, I need to correct myself. It's not complicated if I actually studied it. Oh, we're just under 40 away, just now at about 35 nautical miles away. I mean, obviously getting closer, you know, the, far, the farther we go, the closer we get to this waypoint, but this is definitely one of the longer legs of this uh, flight. Washington Center, Cessna, November, tree tree, seven tree, two eight thousand six hundred feet. Cessna, November, tree tree, seven tree, two Washington Center, altimeter, two nine or decimal nine or two continue as planned. 
again, don't quite get why I'm hearing ATC for other planes. If you know why, let me know in the comments because I would love to be able to know why I'm getting all the other planes like around me or something, even though like it's not anyway. Is that the moon? Is that the moon out there? Is that the moon? You got the moon. Never saw that in this game yet. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look over our aircraft, a whole lot of country, a whole lot of rural area. Got some, uh, got a river there, got a, got a couple of lakes over there, I think, you know, or, nope, that's not a lake, it's a bigger area of the river. Yeah, definitely not a lake, Kyle. Know your bodies of water. See, I was gonna hang out in this cockpit until probably about, like, 10 nautical miles, and, uh, we'll, then I'll head out, and, uh, float around the aircraft for a bit. And let's take a look at a few of these things. I'm not going to touch anything. I don't want to be like a little kid and just like touch everything and wonder why the aircraft crashed. By the way, I never uh, finished the flight school part of Flight Simulator. That's why I'm hovering over these. And if you think I'm reading it and understanding it, you are wrong. Because of course, if it's like very much um, self-explanatory, um, like um, um, like Expedite and um, Approach, I kind of get that. I do get that. Um, I do understand the selected altitude. Speed units, I I get that. That goes from knots to something else, which I don't really want to touch it. I don't know what biometric pressure. Um, I don't know, you know, what this is here. Maybe that's the pressure number. I don't know. If I had the webcam on, you'd probably be looking at a confused face right now. Traffic is 11 o'clock, 4 miles, at 8,500 feet Cessna Skyhawk. Report them in sight. Cessna 2 fights X-ray traffic is 4 o'clock, 4 miles, at 11,000 feet Dar TBM 9. Report them in sight. Um, yeah, I don't see that, so... Dar I Tree Tree 6 have the Cessna Skyhawk in sight. Contact Washington Center on one two seven decimal nine or two five. Good day. Is that actually me now? Going to one two seven decimal nine or two five Airbus tree two zero. Washington Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero flight level two seven zero. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero Washington Center. Continue to Lima Yankee Hotel as planned. a couple of uh, little points here. What, can I hover over it? I can't hover over it for anything. Okay. doesn't like tell me what it is because I'm way too far um, above those spots. If I... Nope. <laughs> if you want to think they're like directly below me if I look up above the plane, which that's not the case. Got just over another 20 nautical miles to this waypoint. Definitely not the marathon leg that we just uh, finished. Let's take a look at that BFR map. See uh, just how close we are to. Uh, we're not. We're not close. Ah, uh, well, we're getting close. I think after we get to past Turco, we'll probably start doing our descent. I take it. That sounds about right. At least I can now fit the whole thing on, a, on the map without um, zooming out further, which I can't. Just want to 
uh, maybe we're about um, halfway there. Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little more than that. Obviously over Virginia now, there's no question about it. Alright, getting close to that 10 nautical mile one, which that is always a plus to me because it just feels like it ticks down a little bit quicker once it gets below uh, 10. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it just seems like it just like it, uh, everything just moves a little bit faster when it gets to that point. It's probably just me. There we go. I'm going, we're going the exact same speed. There's no real difference. Are those the apps? Are those the app license? That should be that should be the Appalachian Mountains. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, getting close to the next uh, waypoint, which should be like practically directly above us, uh, directly in front of us. Three left really ticking down. See how it makes it look like it's like faster? Yeah, directly in front of us. See, now it seems like it's it's ticking down slower, but we're, it, it's actually like jumping uh, quicker, you know? Like the the increments are quicker. So, and uh, this is just, this is me dealing with like pilot eyes probably. Is that a term? Airline tree two zero contact Washington Center on one tree five decimal four. Good day. It probably isn't a term. One tree five decimal for Airbus tree two zero. Washington Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero flight level two seven zero. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray tree two zero Washington Center continue to be RAIL as planned. All right, nothing new going on. I'm going to look up, look uh, below the aircraft again. Got a river flowing through. The whole lot of landscape, whole lot of land. Got the apps to the left of us, which is pretty awesome to see. Can't wait to play over the Rockies. I've flown over the Rockies in real life uh, too, so that was uh, that was cool. Flown over them a few times, getting uh, getting to uh, Vegas and also uh, California. I'd say Arizona. Yeah, we flew over them too to get to Arizona. So uh, that was also there because it does go all the way down to Mexico, right? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think with a map in my head. Just how far they go down, so uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen them numerous times. I think I've only seen the apps one time. That was about the same time when I, when I saw North Carolina for the first and only time in my life. So yeah, if you've been to, uh, I know I said it earlier in the video, but in case you skipped over that part and now you're here, uh, if you've been to uh, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, even uh, Maryland, uh, which is where Washington, D.C. is, if you don't know, um, let me know. Let me know if you've been there. Let me know what your experience was there. Love to be able to find out, you know, like, what some points of interest are. Because I do want to see those uh, states again or for, for the first time in my life. So let me know what... Uh, what points of interest are there? What's uh, what's worth uh, going there? I'll just say like it'd be a quick for like a weekend trip, like a quick weekend getaway. Like won't be uh, something that's a must see. All right, getting to this waypoint, which should eventually lead us to our next one. Should be directly above. Uh, direct, I always want to say directly above us, but directly in front of us. 
Come on. Come on. Airbus 320, contact Washington Center on 121.675. Good day. 121.675 for Airbus 320. Washington Center, Airbus yeah. Alpha Sierra X-ray 320, flight level 270. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree, 20 Washington Center. Continue to Turco as planned. Okay, so we're heading to Turco, right? Airbus 29er Charlie contact Washington Center on 127.925. Good day. So this must be Braille coming up, then Turco is next. Going to 127 decimal niner, 25 Airbus, 2 niner Charlie. Maybe uh, after Turco, maybe our descent starts happening. Uh, I mean, we're obviously closer. hundred nautical miles away. Give or take. Give or take a few. Airbus tree, two zero descend and maintain flight level two one zero. Thank you, get to descend. Descend and maintain flight level two one zero Airbus tree two zero. Diggs, I see you in the chat. How's it how's it going? watching this on YouTube and wondering what's going on because I don't have chat set up uh, on my videos. Um, this you're, you're hearing a little bit of a chat on, uh, on Twitch. So if you're interested in watching this stuff uh, live on Twitch, link in the description down below and uh, be sure to follow and uh, turn on notification bell or something. Let you, let you, yeah, make sure that you uh, know when I go live each time. Make our descent down to uh, Washington, D.C. That's a long lay to get to. 82 nautical miles. Wow. I wonder if that's the last one. Like I said, like it, it's like almost 100 nautical miles from our destination. And that was like give or take a few. So this might be it. This might be the, uh, the airport here. I'm not sure. with that VFR map one more time. That stuck a moment. Yeah, it looks like we're around 100 nautical miles in this, well, this is like a whole 100 nautical miles, so. Airbus Tree, 20, you are 77 miles southwest. Descend and maintain 13,000 feet. Expect vectors on our runway, tree tree approach. Airbus tree, two zero descend and maintain two thousand five hundred feet. Wait. Descend and maintain two thousand five hundred feet. Expect vectors RNAV runway tree tree approach Airbus tree two zero. Two thousand five hundred feet. I'm already going down that low. That kind of surprised me. Where do you if it says that I am, you know, 3,000 or 10,000 feet below my flight level? I swear to you, I'm going to yell. Well, then again, we are only 40 away from uh, log, which I think log and lig are pretty close to the airport, and we're at literally at 21,000 plus feet. So yeah, this is our descent into uh, Reagan International. 
Reagan Internet, Reagan National, Reagan National. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chad. Reagan Trust National. Three, two, zero, contact Washington Center on one tree tree decimal two. Good day. Going to one tree tree decimal two Airbus tree two zero. Washington Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero is at flight level two zero zero, descending two thousand five hundred feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero Washington Center. Continue as planned. Good to know. Good to know that we're we're actually in the um, descent that we want to do. So that is great. Airbus tree two zero contact Washington Center on one two zero decimal six five. Good day. One two zero decimal six five for Airbus tree two zero. Washington Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero is passing flight level one nine zero, descending two thousand five hundred feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero, Washington Center. Continue as planned. This support always gets me nervous too when I start descending because uh, I don't know what, if like auto throttle is going to start kicking in, especially near the, at the end of the flight. I do. I think I have learned how to set it off, but I'm still. I'm not. I'm not too sure I have. I mean, I know the button of auto throttle is turning the thing off, so hopefully I get it right this time. If I just land the aircraft without crashing, I, I still call it a, a success. 27 nautical miles away from this spot. Which I gotta be at 2,500 feet. Airbus 22 X-ray, contact Washington Center on one tree tree, decimal two. Good day. Decimal two for Airbus two two X-ray. Twenty-four left. Still way up there for where we need to be at, but we're descending, so luckily enough, you know, it gives us time. Definitely not hovering at a certain level. So I can say it. We're at under 20 nautical miles. Still over a whole lot of rural uh, farmland. Because I think it's farmland or just a whole bunch of rural areas. Looks like some suburbs a bit. Like a little mix of a, a bulk. for the altitude. We need to get <laughs> 10,000 more feet lower. Wow, this is some long descent. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're uh, Rambo Airfield. Rambo Airfield. Trying to think of a joke for the, um, you know, the movie, but I can't think of one. Apparently, I'm not as quick-witted when I'm starting to descend and getting closer to the ground. So I'm more focused on making sure that uh, I get wheels touching rather than anything else.
and we just passed 10,000 feet, 7,500 more to go. Probably get told to send more before we reach 2,500 feet. It looks like that's probably the rate we're going. I'll see the sights. Okay, I'm gonna slow that down because it's uh, a little bit of lag on the switch for the camera. We're at seven nautical miles from this point. Where is the airport at? It's time for me to uh, take over from autopilot. Yeah, I'm gonna take over from autopilot. Let's go ahead and. Uh... Airbus 320 contact. Potomac approach on 124 decimal two. Good day. I've taken over now. Going to 124 decimal two Airbus 320. Potomac approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 is at 6,300 feet, descending 2,500 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray Tree 20 Potomac Approach Altimeter 29 Decimal Niner to continue as planned. some wind. Pretty. It is pretty, I will, I will say. Okay, why are we climbing? Why are we climbing? Not trying to climb.
Airbus 320, you are 2 tree miles southwest of Washington. Maintain present heading and altitude. Contact Washington Tower on 1 tree 4 decimal tree 5. Maintain present heading and altitude. Tower on 1 tree 4 decimal tree 5 Airbus 320. Washington Tower Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 3202 two, two miles south inbound RNF runway tree tree approach. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 Washington Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 and 2 8 1 at 6. Cleared RNF runway tree tree approach. Alright, when am I going to get Cleared the runway? Cleared RNF runway huh? tree tree approach Airbus 320. Well, I'm hoping I'm going to get lined up with this runway. But that always makes me worry here. A little more quiet now because I want to get this right. A little less commentary, a little more, more strategy in studying this. Where's the approach? Where's the approach? When am I going to get that? Lined up properly? I can't tell. I don't know. It doesn't look like I'm, I'm correct. Try the, the approach again. It looks like I probably have to go off to the left, off to the right, and then get over there because I think I know where the runway's at.
Airbus Tree, 20, wind 281 at 6. Clear to land runway tree tree. Clear to land runway tree tree Airbus Tree 20. Okay, it's gonna give me any kind of help here. Uh, wait, am I at the wrong? I'm at the wrong one way. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna accelerate a bit. We're gonna try this again. I gotta see that runway real quick. Ah, I'm supposed to land on that one. That's what I was gonna miss. I was gonna miss it. Okay. Okay, we'll get it right. We'll get it right. We're gonna, we're gonna make the approach again. We're gonna circle around and get it right. That's the runway I'm supposed to hit. Okay, alright. I'll get it correct. I'll get it correct. Circle around. Alright, partly behind us. Okay, hopefully I can get this right this time. Make a different type of approach. behind us. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Nope, we're gonna have to circle back again. 2,500. Alright, let's, uh, let's gain some altitude. Alright, alright, I'm gonna try a different way to get this one way. Uh, this game did not set me up for success. I am definitely not in line to make this approach. There's no way that's going to happen. Alright, let's straighten out here. Make some distance here. And then we'll turn again to the left once we get, once we make some distance. I don't know if I got enough fuel to be able to last me this flight. Two thousand five hundred.
gonna make a wide swing this time. And hopefully this will line us up. Trying to give us enough space so we can level out and start descending again. I think I might be able to pull it off just like this. Might work, might work. 2,500. Oh my god, we just see it. Okay, let's, let's raise up those gears. Try this again. We're gonna do a missed approach. I hate that. I hate that. I hate the missed approach thing. I really do. Washington Tower Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 is going missed. Airbus 320 contact Potomac Approach on 124.2. Good day. Of course, they didn't really give me an opportunity to actually be able to approach. And they gave me a wrong way. They gave me a wrong destination spot. I don't know, that's just my own fault. Copy. 
124.2 for Airbus 320. Potomac Approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 is missed approach at Washington. Airbus 320, you are 5 miles northeast. Descend and maintain 2,200 feet. Expect vectors on a runway, tree tree approach. Airbus 320, descend and maintain 2,500 feet. Descend and maintain 2,500 feet. Expect vectors RNAV runway tree tree approach Airbus 320. All right, we gotta get to this this vector point here. Speed it up a bit so we can hurry up with this flight. I hate the fact that I missed it and I gotta set it all up again. Again, down to 2,500 feet. this far out in order to be able to make get to that airport. That's that's unbelievable. So we're getting closer, getting closer, so uh, that speed up really did help. Airbus 320, please expedite your descent 2,500 feet. I'm working on that. I'm working on it. Alright, I'm within that range.
I have to well, obviously we'll have to turn that once we get to this vector point. Six nautical miles away from this spot. I'm assuming we're going to have to eventually turn. Airbus 320 contact, Washington Center on 132.55. Good day. Okay, let's try to make the second approach the final approach. Airbus 320, did you copy? Jimmy, I gotta... Now this stuff. Going to 132.55 Airbus 320. Washington Center, Airbus November 62486 is passing 6,900 feet, climbing 10,000 feet. Airbus November 62486, Washington Center altimeter, 2 niner, decimal niner 2, continue to reason as planned. Potomac Approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray Tree 20 is passing 3,500 feet, descending 2,500 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray Tree 20 Potomac Approach Altimeter 29er Decimal Niner to continue as planned. It's a rocky descent every time. Every time it's a rocky descent. Feet Airbus 320. 2500. Airbus 320, 
Hill, you are 22 miles southeast of Washington. Maintain present heading and altitude. Contact Washington Tower on 134.5. Maintain present heading and altitude. Tower on one tree, four decimal tree, five Airbus tree, two zero. Washington Tower, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree, two zero two two miles south inbound, Arnav runway tree, tree approach. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree, two zero Washington Tower. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two in two eight one at six. Cleared Arnav runway tree, tree approach. Cleared Arnav runway tree, tree approach Airbus tree 20. Washington Tower Airbus November 9 or 474 Kilo ready for IFR departure runway 1. Airbus November 9 or 474 Kilo altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 and 281 at 6. Cleared for takeoff runway 1. Off runway 1 Airbus November 9 or 474 Kilo. Okay, I hope we're good with this approach. I know I'm quiet. I know I am. Seven four kilo contact Potomac departure on one two five decimal six five. I don't want to screw this up. I don't want to. Not again. One two five decimal six five for Airbus seven four kilo. Set up a pro mode here.
Why is that? Why am I lined up so bad? One thousand. Why am I doing this? Level out, level out, level out, level out, What in the hell? What in the hell is that? Airbus tree, two zero exit runway when able. That was bull. Just the plan, this is lame. Oh, that's one two one decimal seven. That was bull crap. One two one on decimal seven for Airbus tree two zero. I landed that perfectly, and you bounced me. Washington Ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray Tree 20 Taxi to the Gate. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray Tree 20 Taxi to Gate Charlie Tree Niner via Taxiway Sierra November. Taxi to Gate Charlie Tree Niner via Taxiway Sierra November Airbus Tree 20. Okay, okay, you know, you know I said in the previous one that my la that landing was crap? That one was crap. That did not set me up for success on how to be able to land at all. There was no help. I mean, I'm glad I'm, you know, I can figure out how to land without too much assistance, but still, that one was just... Uh, I still like playing this game. I still do, but oh my gosh, this is... It can get annoying. It can get very annoying. Come on, give me a little more throttle so I can get, get into the gate. Give me a little more throttle. I just want to be done. I just want to get home. I just want to get to the hotel. Spot. That gate's gotta come out. There we go. Okay. Turn that off. Let's get up here and let's get done with this. No. Setting down everything. Generator, turning that off. And okay, fuel pumps are off, so we are all set. And turn off the battery. And that's it. Okay, so that took a little longer than I planned for. It was supposed to be about a 45 minute flight, turned into an hour 15 because I had to go for a second approach. But that second approach, 
Well, I'll take it, but man, that sucked. The bouncing. Oh my gosh, I thought for sure that I was going to screw. I, I, thought, I thought for sure that I was going to run out of a uh, uh, landing strip. But you know what? Made it, and that's all that matters. I got another successful video out of it, and uh, I guess I can be happy over that one. All right, that was flight number nine, and we are in Reagan uh, National Airport in Washington, D.C. We'll see where the next flight will take me to. Um, in the next series for number 10 uh, heading uh, north up the coastline so uh, we'll see where I head to next thank you so much for watching my name is Kyle it's been Kyle Plays Games be sure to like, share, subscribe and let me know what you thought about the video in the comments down below and uh, if you're interested in watching these uh, things happen live um, I have a link in the description down below for my Twitch channel and also several other links uh, to uh, be able to contribute to this channel in uh, other ways as well so uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.